Right, let's uh, go to another Ask Me Anything. It's Stephen Greenhalgh's turn. Uh, Andrew Boff, your question to Stephen, oh, please. Oh, sorry, I've got to turn me a bit apart. Oh, have you got an undertaking from government that they will not reduce TfL's grant if fares are cut? No, I haven't got an undertaking from government. Um, that's interesting because um, the past few governments have all been committed to reducing the amount that's uh, funded by uh, funded by the taxpayer and increasing the amount that's funded by the, uh, yeah. funded through fares. If you were to cut fares substantially, the government would want to would want to rake back some of that um, uh, some of that grant. Um, that always has been the understanding, and without an undertaking. Uh, from the government that they wouldn't do that. I don't see how you can make the pledge that you've made to reduce fares substantially. And, Andrew, you can make the pledge because TfL's an organisation that can be leaner and more efficient. With a land take that's greater than the London borough of Camden, you know as well as I that most of that uh, is, some, is stuff that you do not to need to deliver public transport. Equally, there are huge back office savings and we've got to have a mayoralty that is not going to continue to fleece the fair paying public. So what Treasury want is an organisation that delivers value for the passenger, that recognises that a modest reduction in fares is actually the way to go and critical for the London to thrive. But uh, you, so you're, what you're actually saying is that you want to keep fares down through sl flogging off assets? Well, I was able to ch uh, change a balance sheet for both the London Borough of Hammersmith and Fulham and the Met by making far better use of public land. And if you've got a thousand acres you can develop, that raises one, 20 one, odd billion yeah, pounds. Stephen, once you've so sold all the assets, how are well, you going to keep the fares because down? Because it's not the only way. It buys you the time to reform an organisation that requires root and branch reform. Right. Said Kamal. Well, actually, Steve, I was going to ask you the same question, but oh, really? I'm going to ask you another question because I'm, st I'm, I'm still sceptical that you say that you can cut the fares when we actually need investment. And I think all, mayor, all mayors in London are oh. going to have to tackle that trade-off. But let me ask you a question. It's, we've, we've been rather unfair. Well, some have been unfair. Some of you have been unfair, not me, I hasten to add, on Zach and talking that he doesn't know anything about uh, outside the area of Richmond. How about you? You're, you know, you're very well known in Hammersmith Hammers and Fulham. What do you know of the rest of London? Well, first of all, I grew up in East which happens to be in Zach's constituency, I understand uh, uh, you know what it's like to live up and live in the suburbs. But that, my, that's kind and, of West London as and well. That's also in, in West London. My dad also worked in Hackney Hospital and spent time in in, in the East as well. And um, because as a as a young doctor, you went and served in pretty much all the hospitals around London. And I had to follow him wherever he went. But that's not the point. The point is that in my role as deputy mayor, I'm one of the few people around this table that's held public meetings in all 32. Uh, London boroughs, not once but multiple times, and I take issue with issue with you. Is, and I normally want to agree with my Sorry, uh, with, yeah. with a point with a point that you made. Actually, you introduced by saying there's somehow a link between what you spend and the quality of the services that you provide. Now no, I've discovered. It's, it's, sorry, I've discovered there's a link between what you spend uh, no, and what you raise. No, well, that's the, a link. No, no, there's, it was always a link between what you spend and what you raise. But exactly. the idea that you that that, that 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 as soon as you reduce the fair paying uh, uh, the burden on the fair payer on the uh, that, that you suddenly have to cut investment. I totally reject because what we discovered in local government and with the police, you can improve services by changing the way they deliver those public services. I right, can I let's take objection to the question as well? Pardon? Am I allowed to object to the question as well? You can object if you like. It was hung on a reference to me, and I, I just think that <laughs> I think the we logic of that line Sorry. of argument is, is actually a madness. It means that if you're a North Londoner, you can't represent the West or the South or East. If you're black, you can't represent white people. You, if you're white, you can't represent black people. If you're gay, you can't represent straight people. It is a nonsense. This actually, it's about the quality of the candidate. Have they got a vision? Can they deliver that vision? And whose side are they on? Do That's what it comes down to. Do you feel a bit got up? Because it is a sign of things no, I, to come, I, isn't it, I, if you are the candidate? Look, I, I, it's not a new question. As you no. come up, it's a question but the Labour effect. Party will chuck course, it for course, even further and, than and Andrew And Londoners has have tonight. the good sense to see through. I People, don't they understand. Right. Terrible. Okay, okay. I shouldn't provoke you. Zach, what's your question for Stephen? It's not my question. This is a question from Oliver, who asks... Oliver, who asks, how will you involve young citizens in London's decision-making process? Good question. Well, um, it's, it, is a, it is a good question. And uh, what, I, what I don't think we do is, is solve that question by saying, let's create a series of bureaucratic structures 
uh, parliaments uh, and ways that I think patronise young people. What we want to do is get them interested in current affairs. We want to get them interested in public life. Uh, we want to get schools to hold mock elections. Uh, we want to ensure that their interest in politics is deep-rooted and they debate the issues. Uh, and I think it's all of us have to then take part in whatever spare time we have to encourage those kind of debates. And that's why I'm chair of governors okay. of two state schools and that's the way to do it. You what, want a new airport? What, what if they said no? How would you then resolve the problems with air, air travel in the southeast? The reason I've the reason I've asked for a referendum because I have sat down with high level people in, uh, who are behind the brand new airport and made sure. I, no, I'm Don't you so, think referendums are a way 